it's like 90s cards. 90s cards to me are the best to collect. Guys from the 80s playing into the 90s. Guys rookie years from the 90s playing into the 2000s. It was a good football. And like the way football is played today. So why wouldn't I want to collect the best of a football era before it became all these rules? Some say softer. The way you could hit the quarterback. The way you can move is different. How for a couple of seconds you weren't even able to celebrate without getting flagged. These are the the guys from the eighties and nineties to me are the best to collect. Football was a, a great and fun to watch. I mean you got a Deion Sanders, Top Chrome. 1999, 1998, right? These are the first flare metal 1995, Dan Marino. It's like when it comes to football, why wouldn't I want to collect guys that are already established and goats? To me, 90s cards is not junk a part of the junk wax era it's this is not you know to me this isn't doesn't look like a junk card you know what i'm saying 1991 upper deck was the ones who created the first hologram cards using Marcus Allen. So, being that the game changed in 91, this is not so much of a junk card. It's a, maybe still a part of the duplicated, over-duplicated era, if you want to call it and say it. But it's not these. It's not this. These cards are 89 and 88, 90, 87, and 90. So the one with the two lines are 90. This is an 87. So 90 to 91. Upper deck, that's an upper deck came out. And they started changing the game with these holograms. Upper Deck came out of 90, but they changed the game up by bringing out. Yes, if you collect cards, and you're really into cards like that. This is, to me, I got another one. Two of these. These would be the cards to have. The first hologram cards, the best time of football to watch before it became what it is today. Somewhat, say, watered down. I mean, you got, you know, cards, a basic card, but still nicer than what it was today. But even this card's not as cool as these two cards, you know? A flare. My lollipop tops chrome. This is what I'm out looking for. So when I tell people I'm out collecting, when I go to the shops, 90s football, yeah, I'll take some of these, but it's going to be of the quarterbacks. Like They're like, hey, we got dollar piles right there. Nah, that's not what I'm looking for. Plus, a lot of those dollar wax piles already been opened and resealed, resealed and had players taken out sometimes you know that's why when you always buy those dollar packs there is never no good rookie there ain't never a rookie card in there for some reason but uh other than that to me 80s and 90s football is the best to collect when it comes to 
the card game. It was the best time of football to watch. Players were hitting. Players were solid still out there trying to break records. Not, you know, you the quarterback gets hit a certain way. You know, oh, you can't do that. And to me, this you can't say this is junk wax era. Like, the, how is this junk card? These is maybe over-duplicated, but, hey, how many cards are there duplicated of LeBron James rookie cards? Different brands, different series, like we could say. So, uh, it's just about what's popular, who wants to collect what, what's trending. If someone just all of a sudden, if I go put out a table of always just collecting best of 90s football, 80s, People will like that. It's not out there every time I go. But with the assumption of people don't want it because the kids don't know who to collect of the past. And, you know, people are not trending of what's popular on YouTube card collecting. But cards like these is what I'm out to collect and get. Other than that, 80s and 90s football. Is the best to collect cards. Football was fun back then to watch. Growing up, 90s as a kid, early 2000s, it was still fun to watch. So, don't. This. To this is different. Other than that, peace out.